Hurricane Barrel, as of the latest update, has been downgraded to a Category 3. That is still considered a major hurricane. Right now, it's just a couple hundred miles off the coast of Corpus Christi, Houston, Galveston. So we're expecting Barrel to strengthen, intensify into a Category 1 storm. <laughs> Yeah, Houston, one of the hardest hit places. Millions without power and flooding is an issue. The utility company says more than a million customers have had power restored, but the work is far from over. What popped up in Houston along I-10, this graffiti going after the city's energy provider as it reads, quote, center pointless. Definitely running out in a lot of different places. We're right up the Southwest Freeway at the Exxon, not too far from the station. This is what you see if you pull up here. All gas sold out. You'll see bags hanging over the gas pumps just to indicate, hey, there's nothing there. Today is the third day without power, guys. I'm hoping that everybody here in Houston, they're, they're doing okay. I'm helping my neighbor. I have a generator, and I let her connect her uh, refrigerator, and I'm sure she has a couple of fans going on. I also got power in my house. So something I did yesterday, I went to Home Depot and I bought two um, electrical plugs with both male ends. I just joined them together. So I plugged in one of the male ends into the generator and I ran that uh, extension inside of the house to one of my wall plugs. Any wall plug, you just connect it, turn off your main breaker and pretty much the generator is gonna circuit throughout the whole house. I can also turn the lights that are outside my house at nighttime since it's very dark and there's no power. But um, also, all the wall plugs work. So my TV's on, everything. And it's not a big generator, it's a 4,500 watt. But uh, for you to do that, you do have to cut your main breaker off because if power does come back on and you have power in your circuit with the generator, you know, that'll be, that'll be bad, very bad. But like I said, um, I'm gonna show you my generator right now. Main breaker switch off. Generator. This plug here. Now that plug there goes into the house, into a wall plug. Like you guys saw, pretty easy to do. Just pretty much to have lights and a couple of wall plugins for TV, charger phone, etc. Um, those uh, electrical wires can get hot. So you gotta make sure you don't get them, you don't get them too hot, you don't overpower it. But I'm gonna go around the neighborhood because I think it was like two days ago, I drove through here and man, it's pretty bad. We might be without power for a while. A lot of trees fell on um, electrical lines. So I'm gonna try to record some of that right now on my way to the yard. I have to move a skid steer with the flatbed. I also have to move a 320 excavator with the low boy. But I could probably do the, the 320 tomorrow. So this house here, they already covered it, but the tree fell on top of it. You see those power lines right there? And that's the reason why I think they're gonna take a while because a lot of these power lines are just bad, very bad. I'm gonna turn around here and I'll show you. Check out that tree. This is just in my neighborhood. I haven't really seen any uh, electrical repair crews out here. So that's why I'm thinking that it's gonna be a while for us to get power back on. That house got a little bit damaged there too. Look at that tree right there on top of that house. I'm gonna drive to the other side of that tree where I turned around and uh, see what other damages on that side of the power lines but yeah guys it's bad you know thankfully we're good just with no power and also at the yard everything is good at the yard no damages to the trucks other properties whatsoever another big tree right there that came down look at those roots
almost got damaged too as y'all can see they already covered the roof so we are supposed to get some rain tonight and then uh tomorrow too the whole day so i think that's why these guys are hurrying up to cover the roofs it's gonna get pretty bad but yeah guys i mean not sure if y'all can see there's a lot of power lines on the ground power lines on the ground here now these pools are gonna have to be changed here's another one But yeah, lots of people still working out over here though at the park. But that's what's pretty much going on here in the H guys. Anybody else from Houston in the comment section below, uh, check in. Let me know, let us know you are good. The storm came down on Monday. Today is Thursday. And let me tell you something last storm we were without power for six days so i ran those six days my generator straight non-stop finished fuel added some gasoline turned it on after like two three days i just turned it off to change the oil put new oil gas fired it right up and um that's the same thing i'm doing right now Just uh, as soon as the generator turns off because of gas, put more gas in it, turn it on. After 50, 60 hours, change the oil and we should be good. Not sure if a generator is supposed to run that long without brakes, but I had Googled it. It said no more than a week. But anyways, I mean, as long as I keep fresh oil in it, I think it should be fine. And lots of uh, intersections. The lights don't work so it kind of sucks you gotta come up to a to an intersection long line four-way stop and some people just get messed up or not everybody goes at the same time it's kind of frustrating but i mean it's cool it, you know but it is what it is i mean there's nothing we can do about it i know a lot of people are complaining that center point uh they're taking a while why haven't they been on this but you have to understand a lot got damaged and these crews i mean some of these guys don't even get that much breaks you know they're on the field they probably catch a break go to sleep for a couple of hours and then they get to be back on it and houston is huge i mean i'm sure we don't have enough light crews to to uh, fix everything plus it's not just houston right now it's um everybody over there down south lake jackson port arthur uh, Cleveland, New Caney up north, all of that, all these, you know, little towns and counties have to be repaired. But for next time, just be prepared. Have a small generator, and that way, you know, you can go through it with whatever's going on. See these intersections here? No light. Just gotta make a quick stop and roll. Just got here, I'm about to unload this Bobcat skid steer. Normally, when I get, um, small loads like this but I can do with the flatbed I do them there's no point of getting the low boys with just uh, a mini excavator or the skid steer
we're done here skid steers over there so i'm gonna head back to the yard there's a quick trip gas station here seems like they have gas a lot of people are pumping so i need to make sure i take some gas from my generator because if i don't take any today i won't have any gas for the generator for tomorrow and i'll probably fill up my truck too i got a half a tank of diesel i uh, might as well get some here 329 good price everybody that got hit by the hurricane is safe that uh you guys made it through this video obviously is going to be uploaded days if not weeks after the hurricane because i have another video that i've been trying to post of me hauling some rock with a uh, unit 75 but i haven't been able to since there's no wi-fi at home not too bad four days without power but we made it through let me know in the comment section below for my Houstonians or anybody that got hit by the hurricane. How many days were you without power? But with that being said, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in on another one.